Yesterday's update was pretty solid, we had a lot of new map changes, we had new weapons. However, one thing we all glossed over was the skin changes they made. I'm going to be explaining all about the skin changes they made and what this means for the game and what basically the new rules are in terms of creative maps and the skins involved. Let's get into it guys, let's go. So if we have a look here, you can see that if we scroll down, every single map has this number next to it in grey. This is actually an age rating and creators are required to send in and complete a questionnaire based on what's in the map to get basically a age rating in game that's displayed like this. So you can see the purple hit free for all is at 12 and hero zombies is a 3. If your game's rated above a 12, it'll not be displayed in the country it's rated above a 12 for. That's why we're not seeing anything above a 12 here. But in places like Russia, creative maps are a lot less able to function because most of the maps have some type of violence in them and are rated higher than a 12. The reason I say it's inconsistent is because OG Mini Royale is a 12 and if we go across here, Horror Scarecrow is also a 12 with just moderate violence. I think you can see what I'm aiming at here. Purple Pit Free For All is a 12, Horror Scarecrow is a 12. It's the exact same. And it makes you wonder how accurate these ratings really are and whether creators can just get away with putting what they want in there and just get it approved anyway. The age ratings are fun and all and I don't really see that much point in them. However, we have something else to discuss. It's not just the age ratings. The thing I don't understand about this is that Fortnite is a 12, so why can't we just keep it as a 12? The people who are over 12 can play the game and the people under 12 can play the game if their parents let them. I don't think we need a specific age rating for every single creative map. Just keep it how it is. This next change I've made is astounding. So if I go onto a game that's rated a 12, let's say just ranked Battle Royale. If I go into my locker and scroll down, you can see everything is normal. This game's rated a 12 and the game's rated a 12, so all my skins are nice and solid there. The next one down for Peggy is Peggy 7, which is Practice Zone. This one right here, which is rated a Peggy 7. If we go into our locker now and we scroll down, you might be able to see that some of our skins are not showing. Some of our skins are blocked out. Let's take a couple of an example. Agent Peely, you cannot use this item in experiences rated Peggy 7 or lower. Clash, again, experiences Peggy 7 or lower. Zadie, Peggy 7 or lower. Turk vs Riptide, some of the skins I can agree with, but others like maybe this one right here, the Jade Racer, or Jelly, why is Lumi Jelly not allowed in experience is rated Peggy 7 or lower. It doesn't make any sense. Look at this guy. He's literally a cute, huggable little guy made of jelly. And you'll see that if we go to select a map rated A3, for example, the Game Awards, then if we go into it, we're going to have even more skins blocked out. You can see on here we have Midas, Claire Redfield, Lara Croft. So many skins that have just been taken out the game. A lot of people will literally hop on and play creative as one of their only game modes. If they've only got a couple skins and their skins aren't going to be used, are they going to be happy? I don't think so. The reason I believe Fortnite doing all of this, so I do have a couple of theories. They've clearly decided that Fortnite is reaching a worldwide audience. It is reaching a ton of people and that is great. However, there are some ways they can use to reach even more people and increase their player base even more. Fortnite's currently rated a 12, which means anyone under 12 is just struggle to get the game. By having age ratings for separate maps that are like a 3 or a 7, they can then promote Fortnite to an even younger audience by saying they have made maps for younger people and that can be used. However, when you log on Fortnite, to my knowledge, there is nothing that stops you going on the other matches. So if a three-year-old who's come on to play some Peggy 3 games on Fortnite has come in, there's nothing to stop them from playing normal Fortnite. They just have to click on the map. They can click on any map rated 12. It's a little bit of an ethical issue that there is nothing to stop them. However, Fortnite just clearly wants to increase their reach, increase their audience to a much, much higher level. It's understandable from a company point, but what do you guys think? Is the some of your skins been blocked? Let me know in the comments and let me know whether you agree with Epic's stance on this. Fortnite might become more popular, but some of your favourite skins might have to go at the same time. Watch this video on the screen right now as it is another banger and YouTube has recommended it to you. I'll see you in the next one folks. I'm out.